Good evening. Uh, often I've been asked um, if there's a single book that I could recommend uh, on the King James Bible issue. And uh, frankly, I've been at a loss to do so. Uh, the very, there's so many good ones on the issue, uh, but they approach it from different uh, uh, angles. Uh, there are many that defend the right text, uh, the received text, there are many uh, that defend the uh, King James Bible's authority, its influence, its beauty, its power. Uh, and even uh, the English words, uh, as Gay Whippinger has done in a number of her works and uh, uh, some other authors as well. But uh, I'm happy to say that I finally found one book that if uh, you only have to have one book in, in your library on the King James Bible issue, uh, this would be it. The certainty of the words. Uh, you can get this for $25. That's all you have to spend to know exactly. Uh, the issue about the English words, that the English words in the King James Bible are, in fact, perfect. Uh, and they are inspired, they are given by inspiration. And that means they are alive and that God uses those words, uh, those English words, to go into your, uh, your spirit and illuminate uh, your spirit in order to understand what he exactly wants you, or he wants you to know uh, about him. And uh, that's how he uses the, uh, the words, the English words. And the English words are superior uh, to the, uh, the Greek and Hebrew because they define it. They actually, uh, the English words, uh, have perfected uh, those Greek and Hebrew words to where they uh, are understandable in their context. And therefore, we understand them as they should be understood. And that's what the, the uh, King James Bible uh, has been the uh, final authority and the perfection of, of God's word uh, in English. And you can find it all in here, all the proof, all the evidence. Uh, the, uh, the, he explains the attacks from uh, many of those who are from the Texas Receptus group who still want to cling to uh, the received text uh, in the Greek and Hebrew and, and claim, claim on one hand that they don't correct the King James Bible, when in fact, of course, they do because they're making an appeal to another authority. And uh, therefore, they'll, they'll change it to change the uh, meanings of the words. Uh, when they do so, I mean, if you don't, if you don't, if you're saying the King James Bible is perfect, and uh, you're not using the Greek and Hebrew to uh, correct it, then why are you using the Greek and Hebrew? You don't need it. That's why there's been such a reaction to a whipping his work on hazardous materials when she said you don't need these lexicons and these uh, uh, concordances. Uh, the back of the concordances, are, concordance is a very valuable instrument. Strong concordance where you can find English words listed. It's very valuable, but you don't need the the back of it. With the dictionaries, which uh, Strong uh, was using the uh, uh, false Greek texts in order to define those English and Greek wor Hebrew words, and the Hebrew and Greek words into English. But this book here clarifies all that. <clears throat> you can get this from uh, Daystar Publishing, <clears throat> uh, and uh, it's for twenty-five dollars. Uh, it's the only work you'll need. Uh, it explains the whole issue of the King James Bible, the issue of the. Uh, uh, the perfection of the English uh, text, uh, why uh, that this is it, this, you don't need the, any other words besides the, uh, the King James Bible and refer to the Greek and Hebrew. The author himself here is a, a graduate uh, from uh, Pensacola, Pensacola Bible Institute. And uh, so he has uh, uh, is a master's in, in from, uh, let me see, uh, uh, started Bible, Bible believing church. He still passes Blessed Hope Baptist Church in, in uh, Minneapolis uh, areas, a pastor, and he earned his Master of Theology degree from PBI in 2011. This is uh, a large book, it's 800 pages, but I said it's the only book you're going to need, and it's a very uh, easily read. It's a very quick read, uh, and uh, he's, he's an excellent writer and very clear. So again, uh, this is the book. Uh, I say, when you, when you use the word classic, that's what you were saying, you usually have to have uh, when you say a classic work, you're saying that's, that's the definitive work. Well, this is it on this subject. This is it. He's combined all the best ideas from, uh, from Gift and, and Rippinger and Ruckman and uh, all the others, uh, Grady, uh, and uh, combined them and pulled them together and, into one uh, 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 complete work. And with this work here, if, if you're not interested in reading other works, which are, you know, the, those are excellent works and should be read. Uh, any, any Bible, you should read them, use them, and, and digest them. But if you just don't uh, want to 
you know, get too deep into the subject, it's understandable. Uh, then all you need to do is have one book in order to really get the, uh, the understanding and, and the, the grasp the uh, importance of the English words uh, in the King James Bible. And therefore, and you only spend uh, uh, $25 to do so, you don't have to get a whole vast library. And this is not to say you shouldn't uh, read those other books. Uh, um, you know, I believe you should, but if you don't want to, that's understandable. Because <laughs> the only thing that's is important is to establish your faith in the King James Bible. And this book will do it. That's the key issue. This book will establish your faith that the King James Bible is the perfect uh, Bible in English. And uh, that's the only book you're ever going to need to know. All you need to know is the English of the King James Bible. You don't need to look at a Greek lexicon, a Greek Hebrew word. Or, or anything else, you know, understand exactly what God wants you to know in English. So, uh, if uh, <clears throat> the question about uh, is there one book in order to uh, that you would uh, that I would recommend uh, in order to uh, understand the King James issue, King James Bible issue, and the final authority of the King James Bible, this is it. Certain so favorite words <clears throat> by uh, and Kyle, Kyle Kyle Stevens. And uh, so, if you just want one book on that subject. This is the one to get, and you can get that from Daystar Publishing, and uh, so that's all you need in your uh, in your library regarding the King James Bible issue, and uh, this will this book will uh, establish your faith in the King James Bible. Uh, that uh, you never have to be concerned about uh, someone telling you that you you're missing something, <clears throat> when in fact the English is all you're ever going to need, and that's all God uh, uh, intended you to have, and it, it's sufficient. So. Uh, uh, and uh, the, uh, the English of the King James Bible is the uh, perfection of the uh, Greek and Hebrew text. Amen. Thank you.